हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी एट योर होम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर लेसन थ्रू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ टू यू दिस इज हर्षिनी योर कंप्यूटर टीचर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर लेसन नंबर वन द फर्स्ट लेसन विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स that is nothing but how many how many generations of computers we have and what is the main component of each generation and how the development of computers has been taken now let us see what are the concepts which we are going to learn today we are going to learn about the brief history of computers generation of computers and the advantage and disadvantage of each generation of computer and what are the computers that are invented based on the generation of computers now let us see first generation of computers before going to that let us learn a few points regarding computers as we all know that computer is an electronic device which can process data and produce an output as per the instructions those are nothing but the input which we are giving in business and industries the primary function of a computer is to process data a factory converts raw materials into a finished product in this case the raw materials are nothing but input and the finished product is output for a real time example let us see you want to take a print out you will give a command called print and computer gives you a print out the command which you are giving here is print and the output which you are getting is the print out okay now let us see the first generation of computers the evaluation of the computers has started in the year of 1944 as time goes on the size of computers are decreased and the speed capacity reliability reliability means trust and performance of computers has increased The development of computers has been possible with the invention of transistors ICs which are nothing but integrated circuits and microprocessors Depending upon the technology the computers are classified as five generation of computers the first generation of computers is from 1946 to 1955 which has used vacuum tubes as a main component the second generation of computers are from 1955 to 1965 which used transistors as a main component the third generation of computers are from 1965 to 1975 with a main component as ICs or integrated circuits you can also call them as chips the fourth generation of computers are from 1976 to 1988 and the main component used here is large scale integrator integration and microprocessors The fifth generation computers are from 1988 and the development is still going on and the basic technology used here is artificial intelligence which is in short called as AI. Now let us learn about each generation of computers in detail along with the advantages and disadvantages. So let us see first generation of computers 
The main component in first generation of computers are vacuum tubes. These are enormous that means they are very huge in size and they occupy a very large space. These machines are using machine language which is nothing but zeros and ones. They can solve one problem at a time and the time taken to solve each problem is only milliseconds. Based on this technology, the computers developed are Mark I, EDSAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC and ENI AC computers. These computers are examples of first generation of computers. Another computer called IBM 650 is also a first generation computer which was developed by IBM Corporation. Now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of first generation computers. These computers are able to process only one task at a time and they are taking only milliseconds to complete the task given. The hardware designs are function and programmed by machine language which is nothing but zeros and ones. The main component which is vacuum tubes is very much important which opened the gates for digital world communication. Now let us see the disadvantages. The computers are very much big in size and they require a large amount of energy to process a data. As we operate the computer, they, they generate heat. So, they require air conditioners. To maintain all this, we need more money. So, it is very expensive. In order to get proper processing, maintenance is required continuously. To make any kind of machine work, we need to maintain it properly. So, due to the maintenance is very high for these computers, it is a disadvantage. Now, let us see the second generation of computers. In second generation of computers, the main component is transistors that is the vacuum tubes are replaced with transistors. These transistors are the key components for the development of digital circuits. Even today's computers contain microscopic transistors. These computers are developed for atomic energy industries. Examples of this generation of computers are IBM 7074 series, CDC 164 and IBM 1400 series. Let us see the advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is it is very less expensive and smaller in size when compared to the first generation of computers and its speed speed of computation is also very fast when you compare it to first generation of computers lower power consumption and less heat is generated as you observed in the first generation of computers large amount of heat is generated so here a less amount of heat is generated when compared to first generation of computers the vacuum tube technology is very much important which opened the gates for digital word communication. Languages used in this generation computers are COBOL and Fortran. The disadvantages are 
maintenance of this machine is very much required as heat is produced we require air conditioner these computers are not used as a personal computers because these are also big in size but not as much as big when compared to your first generation computers probably these are used for commercial purpose commercial purpose means in business industries or in banks 